So my transatlantic flight has arrived and here we are in New Jersey at Far Hills for the New Jersey Cup Grade 1 event. It's a three mile two furlong chase. So better Bob Irish for David Robertson, Crackled for Alex Cherry, Dawn of the Warrior for Josh Sutherland, Edmund for John Morgan, Flintoff Wedding for James Shea, Lords Kestrel for David Robertson, Opponents Advantage for Darren Thompson, Ozark Rival for Vinnie Gerard, Silver Dollar City for Neil Van Rensburg, Cirque for Martin Needham. First time out, Steeple View for John Morgan, Belmore Stone for Pontypool Racing, Blue Penny for Martin Leedham, Caper Pears for Darren Thompson, Magic Spell for Craig Beckwith, Stone of Legends for Leon Van Rensburg, looking for a three time up, makes up 16. They've all come across the sea to see if they can take the New Jersey Cup. The flag's dropped and they're away, and they're straight into the first, and they're all over it. As we wait for them to settle down, sort themselves out. Go through the first couple of furlongs, get to the second, and all over it as well. Fence is not particularly big here, it's a lovely course. Here in New Jersey, America, this is in the US of A. So it is Belmore Stone, the grey clutter button is going to lead them as they swing left handed. There's a few going wide here, we're going to lose a few lengths. It's pretty tight here, as most courses are in America. We haven't got a lot of land, have they? build a two mile course and have to do everything in six furlongs. We probably haven't got a long enough tape measure. But it's Belmore Stone that's going to lead this from Steeple View. Belmore Stone in the centre of the course to the better ground. From Steeple View in second. Why the have always Cape Pairs of David Robert sorry for Taron Thompson out the furthest wide. But it is Belmore Stone that leads us into the fourth. Oh, and he went straight through the top of that, and he was lucky he's still on his feet. And it's Steeple View that now takes it up for John Morgan. So Steeple View leads from Belmore Stone. Then we've got Flintoff Wedding, sort of mid course, Crackle, Dawn of the Warrior, Edmund, the other John Morgan horse up against the fence, the grey. Really out wide is Cape for Pears. And they're followed through by another grey, Lord's Kestrel. And they've got opponent's advantage. Links back to Better Bob Irish, Silver Dollar City, and Cirque. And knows that rival when the green silk's up against the fence. And then Stone of Legends, Magic Spell, and Blue Penny at the rear. So as they go over the fifth, and oh, we've lost one there, crashing fall for Flintoff's wedding. He's out of it, and Mikey James. Just down the one. So Belmore Stone and Steeple View, neck and neck, hand in hand. Get to the six, jump it together. Oh, we've lost another crashing fall there, by this time by Lord's Kestrel, just threw himself into the fence. David Robertson loses one of his, so get to the seventh. These fences are tiny. Some of these jockeys need shooting if you're falling on your horse in these fences, but it is steeple view and Belmore Stone still. By about five to Edmund, Dawn of the Warrior and Cape of Beers together, and then Crackled and opponent's advantage. Better Bob Irish up against the fence, Dave Robinson on a runner. And the outside of there is Silver Dollar City, and the Green Silks of Ozark rival, Martin Leedham Cirque. And then the three at the rear, Magic Spell, Stone of Legends, looking for his third win in a row, and then Blue Penny. Oh, you need a second horse. So they're through eight. Nine to take, and it's still Belmore Stone. Steeple view. And we'll get over that one. The one I didn't take it particularly well was Stone of Legends. So it might have travelled transatlantic to not get his three time up. There's still plenty of racing to be had. A great course here. Plenty of crowd. It's got that Epsom feel with the uh, crowd in the middle. It's Belmore Stone and Steeple View that still lead us here. By about five now to Dawn of the Warrior that's just nose in the head from Edmund on his inside the grey on his outside Cape of Pears and his crackled opponent's advantage. Better Bob Irish and Silver Dollar City. Then it's back to the Green Silks of Ozark Rival. And Craig Beckwith's Magic Spell. And then Stone of Legends is at the rear. Martin Lindham's two horses, Cirque and a Blue Penny. To get to the ninth. Oh, we've still got a jockey down there. They should have moved that one. There's still a jockey lying on the floor. It's pretty sad. I think that might be Lord's Kestrel's jockey. Where's the ambulance? So it's Belmore Stone leads us into the tenth from Steeple View. And we'll get over that really poor jump by opponent's advantage, and he's shuffled his all right back towards the rear of the race. They're in sort of semi single file here. There's probably 15 lengths between first and last. Some poor jumps over that one this time. The grey Edmund just dived at it. So, with a mile and a quarter left to run, it's Steeple View, Belmore Stone, and Dawn of the Warrior. These are your one, two, three. And you've got Cape of Pearls and Silver Dollar City and Better Ball Irish together. On the outside is Alex Jerry's Crackled and Magic Spell, Green Silks of Ozark Rival. The other 
great for John Morgan. Edmund, Sir Martin Leader made have a little bit of ground. Opponents advantage, Stone of Legends and Blue Penny. And a little bit disconnected and being hurried along. So as we get down to the final mile, it's Belmore Stone that takes it up again. From Steeple View and Dawn of the Warrior. This will be the last next time round. The leaders are over it. As is the rest. So Belmore Stone and Steeple View. They've been your one two. Oh no, that'll be the last next time round. A bit confused here in this Far Hills course. So with a circuit to go, which is just under seven furlongs. It's Belmore Stone, Steeple View, Dawn of the Warrior, and then Cape of Pears and Better Bob Irish, Silver Dollar City, Magic Spell. Crackle being pushed along a little bit. Edmund doesn't look like he's got a lot left and getting a bit disconnected. The one we've got to see fly from here is Stone of Legends if he's going to follow up. But it's still Belmore Stone on his own now in front. Here comes Silver Dollar City making up a little bit of ground as they go over the 14th. So that's four from home and it's Belmore Stone and Silver Dollar City comes out of the pack to try and challenge. Belmore Stone's stole a bit of a lead here. He's got a two, three length advantage from Silver Dollar City. Better Bob Irish and Crackle really being pushed along as they get to the 15th. Three from home. They're all over it and it's Belmore Stone that still leads. But here comes Silver Dollar City throwing down a challenge for Leon Van Rensburg. The inside the final half mile. Better jump there by Silver Dollar City. He takes it up from Bellmore Stone who fights back. It's these two by a couple of lengths from Better Bar Irish. It's moved into third, but Silver Dollar City starts to stretch and increase the stride. And it's Silver Dollar City goes three, four lengths in front now from Dawn of the Warrior they're trying to chase him down Better Bob Irish Ozark Rivals making up some good ground now the other's got a bit to do to get into it but this Silver Dollar City is slowing up now here comes Dawn of the Warrior and Ozark Rival these three are going to challenge but it's going to be Dawn of the Warrior that takes it up now as they approach the last it's Dawn of the Warrior and Silver Dollar City Ozark Rival so Dawn of the Warrior Silver Dollar City fights back oh and they're both gone both fell at the last Steeple Fuse just nosed in front from Better Bob Irish and Ozark Rival so Steeple Fuse Amazing. Wins the race from nowhere. Total, total disaster for Silver Dollar City. We also lost, I think, Edmund there and Dawn of the Warrior. Both falling at the last. Just when they had it in the bag and we're going to have a fantastic finish. But that's a win. The New Jersey Cup grade one goes to uh, John Morgan. Luckily, there's a stewards as well. I'm not sure for what. I don't know if we'll get a DQ on this race. I couldn't see anything. Shocked by the last minute fallers of both Leon Van Rens, but no, it has disqualification. Unbelievable. John Morgan Horse has been disqualified. Better Posh or Irish for David Robertson has taken this from Mozart Rather and Vinnie Gerardi second. Magic Spell for Craig Beckwith was third. Crackle for Alex Cherry was fourth and Stone Legends for Leon Van Renswer was fifth. Poor old Steeple View got the race by luck and then got taken away. Unlucky there for John Morgan. Let's move on to our second race here at uh, Far Hills and see if the same uh, excitement happens.